Alright, this is a remake too of what I'm about to show you. It's a UFO landing. Uh, this is ancient aliens and they're talking about hybrids and aliens and all this other crazy stuff. I don't believe in any of that. Maybe some of it, but only I believe in is what I capture in my UFO videos and pictures and what I captured I believe to be a UFO landing. <coughs> so let me begin. Here's the UFO right here and History Channel. I already made part one of this on an analog TV, but my son's left back to college, so this is my first day making videos again. Um, as you can see, the sun's shining down, and look at this object right here. See how it's reflecting the sunlight, and see how it's shaded underneath the bottom? Again, my work this year is going to be totally different from last year. I'm going to narrate a lot better. But anyway, this is Ancient Aliens, and this is my second UFO video of this year, 2016. My kids are gone, so I'm going to start posting again what I see. And I don't know what this thing is, but you can see it's clearly metallic. It's reflecting the sun. And what I'm about to show you is, again, it's going to come down. It goes behind this hill and lands somehow, and I just happen to pause it right when it's on entry back into the heavens. But then it stops right here. I'll try and capture it and it'll be a saucer right here. And then it descends into the heavens or disappears behind the clouds. But then it'll come back down one last time to a 90 degree turn and then a 90 degree turn back up. Almost like a square. Just to say it's final goodbyes to me in this video. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what it looks like. And I truly don't believe that. I'm just kind of humorous. You have to be with me on what I see and show on TV because I've seen so many of these. But anyway, I'm going to hit pause, watch that thing take off, and then I'll rewind and show you it in, in its entirety. And then I'll come back and show you it again in different frame sets. But again, this is the History Channel. <coughs> and it's about ancient aliens. So I'm just going to hit play and watch that thing descend into the sky. So it's going to go straight up. Gone. You can see how it flies around right there. So that's how fast this UFO is. So, And listen to them. I'm just going to let them narrate for a while. They have no clue what just happened. So maybe that was a representation of a UFO landing, and I just actually captured one, which I'm about to show you right now again in its entirety. These are new tools that I'm working with, so bear with me. So this is it in its entirety. Here it is. Right there, it just flew up and down. That's how fast it is. So it flew down, landed, and took off within, I'd say, a tenth of a second. So now I'm going to capture it and just show you my ability to see what my eyes see. So I'm going to capture it at full length. Boom. So right there I just captured it like I said. It flies behind the hill and then takes off. So now, and this is an HD so this is going to be part two of the one I captured in analog. Now that my kids are gone, I'm back up using their tools. So now I'm going to hit play. Watch that thing have a trajectory of upward. And then see it fly by right there. So now I'm going to rewind and let it play in its entirety only, this time in a close-up manner. Right after this guy says on, I'll zoom in. On. Listen. There it is, landing, boom, take it off. <clears throat> One more time. Once he says there's something strange going on, that's when I'll zoom in. Watch it land, take off, and do that half a circle square right here. Comes down, goes back up, and does that that fast. 
So if you have video technology, you can slow down that frame set or just go to this right here, 38 minutes into the movie of Aliens. And this is the latest uh, series of events. So now I'm going to try and capture it in the sky after it bounces, I mean uh, after it comes up over that mountain. So let me just rewind. This time I'm going to walk it through as I hit pause. So I'm going to hit pause and release it. I'm going to hit pause as I narrate. So right now he says there's some type of filtration going on. I'll hit pause and you'll see it come down and go behind the mountain and then come back up. That's the first time I'll capture it. Boom. So right there I caught it came down already and bounced over the mountain or not bounce but that's how fast what I mean by bounce is they landed and they're already on their way up into the heavens but now watch when I hit play I hope I can catch them in the other frame set see they're too fast I'll try it again but I want to catch them twice just to show you what they look like as they're leaving the earth back into the heavens So right there, I capture them, and this time I hope I capture them leaving. So right there, I captured them again, and you can see the clear metallic. This is a frame set I never caught them in, but again, I'm hitting pause by pause this time. They're gone, but as you can see, now let me just capture one more, that's my favorite. I'm using new tools here, but watch this one. Right there, again, I'm used to capturing them in this frame, so I, now watch, I want to capture them when they morph into a disc. Anyway, it's too hard for them to catch, but as always, thank you for watching. This will be my part two of this in digital form. Thank you for watching. Over now.